What's up guys, Justin here of Yuga Tech and Huawei recently listed a new member of its Y series of smartphones, the Huawei Y8P. We finally got our hands on it, so without any further ado, let's unbox it. have Huawei's usual white box and opening it will reveal the phone right away. Under that, you'll find another box that contains its clear case and SIM ejector tool. And below that, you'll find the manuals, power brick, a USB Type-C cable, and some earphones. And that's everything. Now looking at this Huawei Y8P on the front, it's rocking a 6.3-inch Full HD Plus OLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. You can see the dewdrop notch on top which houses its 16-megapixel front-facing camera. On top of that is the earpiece. We get slim bezels overall while the chin part is slightly thicker. The Huawei Y8P also has the advanced in-display fingerprint scanner which unlocks fast enough. Flipping to its back, it's made out of polycarbonate material with this familiar gradient design that we're used to. The unit we have is in the breathing crystal, but there's also a midnight black variant for a more classic look. And of course, on the upper left, you can see the triple camera setup together with the LED flash. So the Huawei Y8P feels lightweight and easy to grip thanks to its curved edges. Even people with small hands can grip it nicely. Plus, its polycarbonate build makes it lighter to hold. On the left, you'll find its SIM card tray with no dedicated micro SD card slot. However, you still have the option to expand for up to 256 gigabytes via Huawei's NM card. Meanwhile, on the right side are its volume rocker and below that is the power button. On top, you'll find a 3.5mm audio jack and a secondary microphone, while down at the bottom, we have the primary microphone, loudspeaker, and a USB Type-C port. Yes, for internals, powering the Huawei Y8P is a Kirin 710F processor coupled with a Mali G51 MP4 GPU, 6GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage. It's got a pretty sizable 4000mAh battery too with 10 watts charging support. When it comes to software, it runs on Android 10 skinned with Huawei's EMUI 10.1. Well guys, I'll tell you this now. It doesn't have any Google services installed, so you'll have to install it for yourself. On the bright side, it has Huawei's growing app gallery for your most used non-Google apps. If you want to know more on how to install Google services on your Huawei devices, then you can check our video right here. Talk about cameras, at the back we have a 48 megapixel primary shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Up front we have a 16 megapixel front camera. Since this is just a quick hands on, check out our sample photos right now. Okay, so the Huawei Y8P is priced at 12,999 pesos. And so far, we think this is a little bit pricey for its features. And with the absence of Google services, it can still be a hassle for some people who are used to it. Nonetheless, you get 128 gigabytes of internal storage, that OLED display, and an in-display fingerprint scanner. Well, since this is just our hands-on, let's see how it holds up to our regular use. Maybe it's worth it. So yeah, that's it for our hands-on of the Huawei Y8P. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned for our full review real soon. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.